Hey guys, this is Lorenzo. Some of you may have noticed that there is the new logo that I have, as well as these two banners. And special thanks to Tombox for making these awesome faction banners. I only have two factions, L7 Alliance and L7 Alliance EXP. Today I'll be talking about the latest epic boss, as well as some changes that most people have noticed with the stats for the super rares, ultra rares, as well as rare fighters. So we have another times three event for the nemesis fighter when you open the premium big rig. And there is a video that Shoryu Ripa has posted earlier today where he used up all 42 keys and he got a ton of nemesis fighters. Next we have a new zone coming, military base, and it is dual element, shadow and fire. So that's gonna be an interesting area. I don't know who that could be. Actually, to be to be honest, I think Rebel is the fighter that is those two elements. So if it's Rebel, that's pretty cool. If not, then who else do you think is possible? And of course, we have our epic boss fighter, Valiri. And look at her max stats this time. She's really strong. 1900 in her attack as well as 1800 for her defense. It's pretty strong if you compare it to the last few bosses. Also, there's a 40% off sale. So for those of you who want to use up some of their cash so that they can get the energy faster and get it fairly cheap, this is probably the time to use it. And we also have the PvP tournament going on and the ultra rare fighter that you get is also the same ultra rare fighter you can get in the elite APC. In the last epic boss leaderboard reward I got the silver medal and I have the four super rare edge as well as the one ultra rare Izumi and if you look at their stats they're just level one and it's already at 900 something for especially the ultra rare and the super rare is at 400 something and usually you have to upgrade it to get it to that point so everyone that is super rare and ultra rare they've already been buffed I'll show you some more fighters later in this video. The first thing I do before I start the battle is I go to the mission screen and accept the new epic boss mission, which is to defeat her a number of times. And this week we have a new tournament with this new fighter that has huge sleeves with jingling things inside of it. I don't know if you noticed this, but my Kimi stats have been like totally buffed show you a little comparison before I got to the new epic boss. You can see that Kimi has about a thousand for all the stats boosted, which is pretty awesome because that means that I could get higher damage in the epic boss battle when I do that all out attack. You see here that I did 117,000 damage and I'm sure a lot of people with even stronger fighters can do even better. Now let's take a look at the damage leaderboard rewards. So for the lower tier we get the energy as well as the keys. And then as we go towards the silver tier we have the rare fighter Effie. And this is her stats before and this is her stats after. And then we have a super rare fighter, which I don't have the information for, but the ultra rare fighter is Nia again. So Nia's stats before the update looks like this, and after the update looks like this. And then for let's take a look at the, the victory rewards. And from the victory rewards, the uncommon fighter that we get is Samo. And we have our 28 rare keys, 18 premium keys, and our 7 training boost if you defeat the epic boss at level 60. The comment of the day goes to Jose where he suggests that we want an ability to double our attack in the PvE because some of the areas are pretty hard. And if he could spend even double the energy 
so that he could double the damage like the all out attack, then he'll be able to complete the story mode and progress. And looking at the changes recently to all the stat boosts for all the fighters rare and above, right now I think they might need to balance the level again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you would like me to feature your comment in my next video, leave a comment with a suggestion for the game or a tip for the rest of the players. And if you would like me to make more of these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.